Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another grocery haul and meal plans. If you want to see what we picked up then keep watching. So hi everyone, I hope you're all doing okay today. I'm just going to get right into this. Um, I did work with Tesco back in December over on Instagram but obviously this isn't an ad and I'm just required to tell you that as per the CMA guidelines. But we're just going to get into it. So it's obviously a Tesco shop um, trying to get some sort of semblance of a meal plan going again um, and I hope you enjoy it. The meal plan will be at the end of this video. Okay, so I'm going to start over here with all the fresh fruit and veg. Um, we've got some leeks, two onions, I just got them loose this time, um, two broccoli, mouse pipe of potatoes, carrots, um, cucumber. I did order some baby cucumbers, but they um, were our like substitution as it were so I've only got that but it's fine like I can always pick stuff up throughout the week so that's no problem I've got some peppers although this one's a bit like wet looking so I think one of them I think it might be that one is a bit gross which is a shame um I got some sweet corn because the kids really enjoy the cobets anyway um Stan in particular and I have frozen sweet corn in as well um but it's also quite a nice treat for the rats and if I get the small ones then there's always like one each for the kids with like other bits and bobs obviously as part of a meal and then the rats normally get the spare <laughs> um I've got some savoy cabbage, chestnut mushrooms, a garlic, chilies, thyme, blueberries, raspberries, easy peelers, bananas, grapes and then as you can see over there we have some bananas and apples left over so that's why I didn't get any anything else. Um, store cupboardy items, I've got some cherry tomatoes um, in a tin because I'm going to do an all day breakfast one day. Um, and then I got some raspberry jam. The Bon My Man one was on offer and it's really nice. And um, Stan absolutely loves like jam on toast or a jam sandwich and stuff. Um, I got this salt and pepper uh, chicken seasoning because this was like heavily discounted. I think it was only like 60p. And normally I would buy the salt and pepper um, seasoning from like, you know, like Home Bargains or B&M. But I must admit, I've not been for a while. So maybe, maybe it's a sign that I need to go soon. But I thought this would be really nice to do some salt and pepper chips with with some chicken wings and stuff tonight. Um, it's just a different like meal. I'll, I'll show you the chicken wings in a sec. And um, we've got some chocolate chips for um, making pa more pancake bites with. I will try and film that because every time I mention it, I always get um, like questions. So I will try and do that in like a short or a reel or something like that because it's probably quite a boring long video to do but um yeah i will try and do it for you soon um then i got some chicken stock pots and two tins of baked beans for the all day breakfast and some soy sauce then i got some sabra hummus double cream grana padano cheese grana padano cheese sorry <laughs> i feel like i can't talk today um streaky bacon some richmond sausages the thick ones are on offer so i went for the thick ones got some chicken breast fillet for a recipe and then I've got two packs of the chicken wings so I'm going to do some chicken wings for us and some chicken wings for the kids. Theirs will be like a, let me get it out of the fridge for you, um, so I have some sweet baby rays that I need to use up which is kind of dictated to the meals this week so I'm going to do chicken wings with it tonight um, and I'll probably add some little extras to that and then also the leftover will go in the slow cooker with some chicken breast which is over there um, and other bits and bobs to kind of bulk out the sauce and I'll do pulled chicken like barbecue chicken burgers basically so that's what they're going to have on there but for us um because it's a nice opportunity to type, like do two different types and then have like spice on ours I'm going to do kind of like a teriyaki kind of thing but with some fresh chilies um, oh, I should have bought some spring onions shouldn't I for a little garnish uh, I could always pick those up on the school run I suppose but yeah I'm going to do two different types and what I normally do is I will roast them first and then I'm going to add this chicken seasoning all over them with a little drizzle of oil just to get them going I'll roast them and then I will add the sauce for the rest of the cooking time because it just kind of stops the, the sauce from burning um, so I can recommend this we've got a few of these little um, just spices things we've got one for egg and one for porridge as well the egg one's really nice and I've just nearly 
dropped it everywhere <laughs> so that is that and then what else have we got we've got two types of cheese mozzarella cheese mix i'm going to do chorizo quesadillas so that would be useful um for one night for the kids uh, i've got some butter there uh, cheese slices are for the pulled chicken burgers uh brunswick ham i did get two of these but one of them had burst open and the hand were all discolored it was honestly a bit of a you know like sometimes like nine times out of ten not even that like 9.9 .9 times out of ten my deliveries are great and the dates are always good and then sometimes you just get one random one and you're like oh that's a bit pants never mind um i can always like take photos i've put them to one side of things that aren't great like these peppers and i can always get a refund on those items if i want to um coleslaw so um short crust pastry i'm going to try and make like a cheese and onion pie like cheese onion potato you know like proper comfort food for greens uh, to have on Sunday I just feel like that would be a nice alternative to like a meat based meal anyway and um, those are the buns that we're having with the pulled chicken uh, I've got toasty and then the tortilla wraps for the quesadillas and then over here is just a selection for pat lunches and kids snacks in general so fruit wine days were on offer squares were on offer freddo's were on offer and so were the cocoa pot spas go go squeeze weren't on offer but one thing that i've noticed they're, they're a little bit more expensive than the tesco's own slurper ones um and if you're ever wondering where you can find these they're with all of the fruit snacks in tesco um so that's where you look if you're curious and these are big in america you know like applesauce as a snack is basically where this is stemmed from so they've come over here um but one thing that i like about these is that the twisty um lid is so much easier to open than the tesco own brand ones and i always worry that like i'm sending the kids to something that they might struggle with a little bit so i got them again We'll see how long that lasts. Um, I got some fruit splits they were on offer, raspberry peelers were on offer, the fruits were on offer, and the pepperamis were on offer. I feel like all of the stuff was on offer. Um, and the frazzles, the frazzles weren't on offer, I don't think, but the monster ones were. So that was that was nice. Um, also, I had a delivery today from the Northumberland Candle Company. These were obviously sent to me. But I absolutely love their stuff and I buy it quite a lot. But she sent me some of the more like springy range. This is Apple Fresh and Looks Living to like wax mel melt um, bars to try. And I'm guessing from this that they are like good for pet smells and then this is so cool it's called girl power and it is a little selection box of powerpuff girls so you've got buttercup girl power blossom flower power and bubbles and um, so i'm really excited to um give those a sniff and maybe pick one later and then how lovely is this like obviously i'm from around manchester and b is the symbol here i've got a few bees around the house and this is a little bee burner so that was really nice of her obviously I'm quite clear with you they've been sent to me but i do have a discount code um, and i'll check if that still works and if so i will leave it on screen and in the little comment box for you below but i just thought i would include those because they've literally just come and then i got some sweet and salty popcorn to watch a movie with on sunday i got two packs of the deliciously ella bars i have worked with them over on instagram recently in their dog food capacity but um we really like these bars and they run off of two pounds each. The peanut butter ones especially are really nice. Um, got some apple juice, orange lemon and pineapple squash, my barista coconut milk, um, apple, peach, mango and passion fruit juice and then some um, Radna Fizz. Now these I wouldn't normally buy like small bottles but they were on offer for £1.50 and this is the stuff that is in the canteen at Bill's High School and I'm guessing it's because it's like relatively like healthy they've got an anti-bullying alliance as well um and no added sugar and they were on offer and he loves them him and his mates were obsessed with them and he was like i, I showed them him that they were on offer for one pound 50 and he was like you're kidding me the one pound 70 just for one at school so i thought you know what i'm just gonna treat him because if he's excited by something like this that is actually quite a decent drink then um i thought i would get them and it was only like three pound fifty for all three of them so that would be their little treat this weekend they've got forest fruits apple and tropical and yeah that is everything okay so on to the meal plan um this runs from friday to thursday again and um i've really tried to focus on stuff that is like a bit simpler um because my head's not 100 percent in the game and i'm not finding like as much as enjoyment as i normally would do in cooking at the moment just because obviously like it's been 
I really sad time. Um, so with that in mind, um, on Friday I'm going to do um, chicken wings because they're actually really affordable and super tasty and it's something that the whole family enjoy. And then on Saturday, um, I wasn't really sure about Saturday initially, like I think if you'd have asked me on Monday whether I was going to go, probably would have said no, um, because it was my birthday week this week, um, obviously I've lost my granddad and I just, I normally love January and I love celebrating my birthday and things like that, like of course I do, like another year older, it's great, woo, celebrate. Um, but I just not felt it this week and it's been really up and down um, and I was meant to, well I am meant to be going out with friends, like our couple group, there's four of us, um, because three of us ladies out of four have um, birthdays in January, so it's been booked in for quite a while. Um, but you know like when you just feel like you're not really in that kind of jolly, let's go out having drinks and this that and the other mood which is like unlike me because normally if you give me a chance to go out with my friends like I'll take it um, and yeah so it will be eight of us all together. I am going to go but I feel like I just need to psych myself up and I know I'll have a really nice time. I think it just feels weird like having fun and being happy and doing things that feel like really like indulgent and special when like grandma's not here and I don't really know how else to explain that um, but that is, that's what we're going to do, we're going out for a curry and then on that evening my mum and dad are going to babysit so I'm going to do um, pizzas for the kids I think, just like something easy and quick um, that I know that they'll enjoy and then yeah that, that's going to be Saturday. Um, Sunday I'm going to make a potato pie, I got the, it was the BBC Good Food magazine um, which Mark always gets me as part of my Christmas present as like a subscription for the year. I love it and there was something in there for like a leek and potato pie type thing with cheese and that kind of thing. I'm going to try and make that because I love making a roast dinner and I always do like a Sunday lunch kind of vibe or Sunday dinner vibe on a Sunday but I'm just, I am just wanted something that was a bit simpler that I can just kind of prep and then stick in the oven to like warm through later. So I'm going to try that recipe um, and then Monday I'm doing all day breakfast because um, Bill really loves this and has been asking about it recently so I thought I'd put it on the meal plan and, and like do sausage and bacon, black pudding. Do you like black pudding? I really like it. I was like given it as a kid and raised on it so I really enjoy it whereas my kids like I try and give it them and I don't know if maybe like <laughs> they just ask more questions than I do but they're like oh no. Um, I love the stuff, I think it's so tasty. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna do all that. I'm uh, gonna do some like balsamic tomatoes and like um, do some mushrooms and beans and I know everyone will really enjoy that. Um, and then Tuesday, because it's a really busy day now. So I'm in lessons, Daisy's on stage six now. It's moved up. So there's an hour's gap in between Stan's and then hers. Um, and I really don't have that much time. So, I literally have to rush home and shove food into them, um, especially for her because she needs some energy before she swims and stuff. Um, so I'm doing the rest of that sweet baby raised sauce in the slow cooker with some chicken breast. I'm gonna do pulled chicken burgers, which I think will be really tasty. Um, and that's gonna be for everyone. And what's nice as well is that it'll just keep warm in the slow cooker. So after swimming, I can eat it and Mark can eat it and it'll still be warm, which will be quite handy. Um, Wednesday, I'm gonna do a like garlic chicken. I think I, the recipe's on BBC Good Food, so I'll try and link that with like rice and broccoli and that kind of thing. Um, just something that's easy again, and it's a one pot meal, which I'm excited to try. And then Thursday for the kids, I'm gonna do, I've got a little like a third of chorizo left in the fridge that I wanna use up. So I'm gonna do chorizo, cheddar, and honey quesadillas for the kids with um, hummus, um, like carrot, cucumber, pepper, sticks and then maybe like some fries or something if they want it um, and then for us Mark is I have it yet to see what we're having um, but that is normally the deal um, but that is everything so I hope you found this useful and I hope you have a fab weekend and I will see you all very very soon.